Okay, so we are going to make these cute paper clips and I was very surprised at how easy it was to do. I used most of the products from Dollar Tree and the little perfume bottles were from Michaels. So let's go ahead and get started on how to put these together. They were so cute. I'm so excited about them. Now here are the cards that I got from Michaels. It was in the $1.50 bin. And immediately when I saw them, I knew I wanted to cut them up and make them into paper clips. And that's pretty much it, you guys. You just cut around it and I also used a hole puncher, a one inch hole puncher that I had on hand. And you're going to need some really small precise scissors because the perfume bottles are really tiny and the little edges are, you know, really small spaces to cut into. So smaller scissors are going to be best for this. Now I'm just punching out some of these um, little circles from the back of the card so that we can cover up the back of the paper clip so it looks nice and pretty in the end. So I'm just cutting up four of those and then I am going to begin, what am I doing? I don't even know. Okay, so now here I'm going to actually cut the card in half and now I am going to take my scissors and cut around the perfume bottle. Now, be sure to not cut into the black line. The black line of the perfume bottle is really pretty and makes it look really nice and it stands out, so cut outside of the black line. Okay, once I have all of those cut, the next thing that I did was I picked out my paper clips, which I got from the Dollar Tree. They're the large kind, and as you can see, I'm kind of playing around with some colors and figuring out which color paper clip to choose, and ultimately, I just went with white and pink. Now, these self-laminating cards also came from the Dollar Tree. The, I, I, I'm always surprised at how cheap and inexpensive that you can actually do crafts. I don't know why I'm saying this, because I say it all the time. But as you can see, I'm pla placing them face down into the not sticky part because this part right here that I'm peeling is the sticky part so you just line them up you want to make sure that they're not too close to each other because you're going to want room to cut them um, apart from one another and now I'm just peeling back the sticky label and now I am going to take like a scoring thing I don't know what that's really called but you can also use like a plastic like grocery card or a credit card to do this and you want to get as close as possible to the actual item that you laminated you want to get rid of any of those bubbles and any of that spacing because if there's bubbles or spacing then the salt the laminating sheets will open up so I'm just as you can see I'm kind of getting into all of the grooves and making sure that I've got all the bubbles out now I am going to begin cutting it. Also right here I am showing you that in these little tight corners that there are bubbles so try to really get in there and get rid of those because if you cut into that bubble the laminating sheet will open basically. So I am going to give it enough room because it's not completely like flushed against the perfume bottles. There is going to be some bubble around it. So don't cut into the bubble, cut outside of the bubble. And it's trial and error, so you'll see what I'm talking about if you do the same thing that I did. Um, but you wanna cut outside of where you kind of see that bubble because the perfume bottles are thick and because it was self laminating, it just didn't like seal in as tightly as it should have. Okay, now we're going to take some hot glue and apply it to the back. And you wanna make sure that you are not hot gluing in the clear part where you can see the laminating sheet. So, and then I'm gonna add some more hot glue. And this is the part where you want to make sure that the backing doesn't go in the clear part because if you flipped over your um, perfume bottle you would be able to see the circle dot at the bottom but you don't see it here because I actually ran into this problem and I had to peel off the little circle and reposition it a little bit higher so that you couldn't see it on the other side so super simple and that's it Thank you. 
These are some of my favorite stickers from the Dollar Tree and I thought it'd be really cute to add it to the back of my perfume bottles and give it a little bit of an extra pretty little kick. And then I realized why don't I just make a paper clip out of this as well and I didn't even use hot glue gun on this. I mean they were sticky enough to just pen together like this with the paper clip in between and that is it. And these stickers come in different sizes as well so it works for anything. And then I made another one, this is a Dollar Tree heart pick, red and glitter and you just add some hot glue to the back of that as well. All you need is hot glue. Another simple idea to do your own DIY paper clips is to use any sort of ribbon. Now in this one I am using a Valentine's Day themed ribbon with hearts on it and I picked out a red paper clip and then you lay the ribbon on top of the paper clip centered and then you take one side of the tail and pull through and take the other side of the tail and pull through and then you pull it up and tight and then you turn it around add some hot glue to reinforce it so that it doesn't loosen up and then you let that dry turn it around and you trim it to however long you want your paper clip tails to be and that is it you can also apply the same method with multiple ribbons all in one. It just takes a little bit of time to weave, you know, every little strand of ribbon through the paper clip. But as you can see, I'm just picking out the patterns that I want and I'm kind of going with a Valentine's Day pinky gold theme. And then what I decided to do is stack them on top of each other in the order that I wanted them kind of to be in and you'll see me kind of make some decisions here on whether or not I want certain like ribbons to be in this one. In the end, I take away the one with the black. I just figured I just didn't really go with this one. So I took it out of the mix and then I applied the same thing that I did with the red heart um, paper clip. So put, it, put your ribbons on top of the paper clip and then weave them through, pull tight, takes a little bit of like a little tug and pull until you get it all the way up and then turn it around and add your hot glue so that it stays nice and tight and never unfolds. And then you can trim that as well and I did the same thing with a green pattern paper clip. The next paper clip DIY that I made was using some tool and I had this on hand so I just kind of threw this together not really knowing what I was doing but I just kind of took half of the tool and fed it through the paper clip like you see here and then I tried to hot glue the two sides together but then I quickly learned that tool does not like hot glue it almost like crystallizes I don't know how to explain it so to tie it together I used a ribbon but actually I could have just used like a rubber band but a ribbon just makes it look a lot nicer because you will be able to see the back of it so I just used a white thin ribbon to hot glue around it and then I took some of this pink ribbon and like in the breast cancer sign and then you fold it kind of down to make your little bow and then I took some of that same same white thin ribbon and tied it around in a knot it doesn't really matter because you won't be able to see it so I tied it in a double knot and then I trimmed off the excess and added a dab of hot glue to the center so that the knot wouldn't um, unfold and then you just take your bow and you hot glue it to your uh, tool then as you see here I'm just kind of trimming the tails I started one way and didn't like it and then trimmed it again I ended up trimming it a little too short but that's okay and then I trimmed the tool at the top and I was all done now let's get started on this DIY shaker card. I showed this in my plan with me in yesterday's video, so go check that out if you want to see it. A ton of you seem to really love this, so I'm super excited to share it with you. Now the first thing that I use are these little clear pocket like goodie bags that I got at Daiso because only the top is open, which I thought I can just seal that with washi. So originally I added all of my little like sequins and rhinestones, and then I figured that wasn't enough, so 
I want to add a background and that's what you see me doing here and I know this isn't the like smartest way to figure it out but I just kind of traced the pocket around my paper and then cut it and then realized I had to cut it a little bit more so that it would fit inside and then when I put that in there I felt like that was a little too plain for me as well so I took it back out and let me tell you guys I spent so much time on this shager card because I could just not figure out what I wanted it to look like and this was actually my inspiration was this beautiful notepad that I got from the Target dollar spot and she was my little theme as well in my planner so go check that out and then as you can see I'm putting I'm trying to put this sticker on here and then I just did not like it so I took it back off and then I decided to use my favorite uh, heart foam stickers from the Dollar Tree these rhinestone hearts are also from the Dollar Tree I just didn't like them that much so I did love these so I just kind of put about four of them in here slid it back into the pocket and then put all of my sequins and rhinestones in there as well and then I just sealed the top with some washi I just was blown away that I made my first shaker card and that it looked so adorable so as I'm sitting here filling this up, I'm realizing that I really need to work a little bit harder on my filming angle. You see half of the stuff, and I'm really sorry about that. I'm really going to work on that. But anyway, here I am using some really gorgeous washi and just sealing the top. And then you'll see me like kind of fold it over. And then we'll fold it over there so that the sequence, nothing kind of falls out. And then I trim the ends. And that is your shaker card, you guys. From Daiso, from Dollar Tree, from Target Dollar Spot, and some sequins. Hello, it's gorgeous. So that's it for today's planner DIYs. This is all that I have done so myself. I'm just a beginner as well, and I'm hoping to have even more amazing planner DIYs later in the future. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye!